and welcome to another episode of Q&A with BA. I'm Sarah. This is Clint Hansen. Hello. We're super excited to be here and to answer your questions. Or are we? Well, kind of. Well, today is not a normal day. We are not just answering questions today. I mean, we kind of are answering questions today. But today, Clint is going to teach me things. Correct. Specifically, how to install a pen low-profile gas block after you purchase it from Ballistic Advantage. I'm super excited. I'm super duper excited. You ready to get this started? Then? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So when you order a barrel from BA with a pin low profile gas block, like a BA Hanson barrel, or you're just ordering the service, after you unwrap the bubble wrap and the box, obviously, this is how it comes. Okay. It's an important piece here because your coil pin that's going to go through this hole, yeah, don't throw that away. So, are you ready to do this? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I feel super tall. I feel so tall. Actually, like... I know! It's tall. so great! It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be like your me building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be exactly the same. It is. Once you unwrap your barrel, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to loosen up these set screws, okay? Because, obviously, we have to get our barrel nut on, so we're going to have to pop that low-profile gas block off it real quick, okay? Okay. So go ahead and loosen up those screws just a touch. That's good. That's fine. Now go ahead and do the other one. That's, you know, perfect. That's plenty. Perfect. All right. Next thing you're going to want to do after you loosen up those set screws, when we pin this low, pro low profile gas block on the barrel, it's kind of a little memory on there. So you're going to give it a little whack just to get it unstuck so you can get it off the barrel. Go ahead with the soft side of the hammer and give that away. A little more. Low profile gas block came off. All right. Now, we're all... We're looped up on the receiver. Go ahead and insert this into the upper receiver, okay? This way? Yep. Okay. And your indexing pin is gonna go in that slot, all right? Obviously next, once you got your barrel installed in the upper, we're gonna need to go ahead and tighten down our uh, barrel nut for the rail, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that for you now. All right, once you got your barrel nut on, you're gonna to wanna to tighten it. So just a little reminder, refresh your course from the builder series we did. Uh, proper usage of your torque wrench, make sure you're at a right angle so you can properly uh, and adequately tighten it down to the true foot pounds. So I got it set up to about 50. We'll see where it gets. All right. Perfect. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is reinstall your low profile gas block. So at this point, it's imperative that you get it somewhat straight, but if you're not perfect, it's okay. Next couple steps here are gonna fix that as well, all right? So right now, Sarah is tightening up the screws and getting it as close as she can to that hole and where it was pinned, okay? How snug should I make it? Or like, at what point do I stop? When your fingers hurt. When my fingers hurt? Right about there is just fine. Okay. Okay. Looking good. Perfect. The next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and get that coil pin that we told you not to throw away. Get it in your roll pin starter punch and go ahead and start to install it into your low pro. Now remember to put your body against the barrel so that when you're hitting the pin in, your body's taking all the inertia, okay? There's no sense in standing out here, beating on the end of your barrel. You're gonna have accuracy issues, fitment issues, all sorts of stuff. So if you can brace it, brace it. Okay. Go ahead, brace your body. Good, keep going. Mm -hmm. All right, so once you've bottomed out on your uh, roll pin starter punch, you're gonna go ahead and switch to a flat punch, all right? That's perfect. All right, so now see this is flat. Mm -hmm. That one was coning it, so you're ending in the low profile gas block. So now you're gonna take the flat one and continue. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna remember to brace the barrel. We're gonna go ahead and get this one in the rest of the way with a flat punch. Alright. Steady, deliberate hits. Go. One, two, three. Perfect. So when you're trying to get the roll pin to where you need it to, just go ahead and split the difference in terms of how much sticks out on each side of the little profile gas block. She's probably about one hit away from it. So go ahead and finish up. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and check it. Perfect. So now we got about equal amount of this coil pin sticking out each side. You know you're centered. All right. So most all that is done, but you're not stopping there, okay? Yeah. So we're going to check this real quick, but afterwards she's also going to install a gas tube. Why not, right? I am? Great. Mm -hmm. Another issue that happens from time to time, uh, we hear people call in. Obviously, we hear them call. 
but they install a low profile gas block and they say that it's crooked, okay? This is one of the reasons we use a coil pin, all right? So just in case you don't have your low profile gas block properly aligned, or perhaps your rail and your extrusion, you know, might be a little too tight or uh, a little crooked on the inside, it can happen. There's still time to straighten this just a touch. You can drive your pin in if you weren't lined in, perfect. However, you can make the simple adjustment. All you're gonna do is loosen these set screws that we tightened earlier, which I've already done here, and then go ahead and give it an eyeball down the center. We're looking pretty good here, but now that these, low pr these uh, set screws are out, if I were to just tap it a little bit with the soft side of my hammer, it's gonna go to where I need to go, okay? And then once you've got it where you need it, go ahead and tighten those screws back down, okay? Another tip for you, if you're building, you're trying to figure out what straight is, meaning lining up in the middle of your receiver. If you've got something, uh, maybe like a white backdrop behind you, that's gonna help you track the barrel from the middle of the bore on up through the middle of your rig so you can really kind of eyeball center, all right? All right, that's all snug. You ready for a gas tube? Sure. The next thing you're gonna do is install your gas tube, okay? Now, quick little little thought, if you have like a pistol gas system and it's a little shorter, it's totally okay to go ahead and install your gas tube before you put your low profile gas block on, okay? Um, I've seen other builders install it outside of, you know, with a low pro off of the barrel and just do it on, a, on, the, on your bench, but it really does go hand in hand kind of building with this flow and to be able to brace the barrel and makes it a little easier for you. But like I said, on a shorter gas system, you can have your gas tube already in there because sometimes it gets hard to fish around, especially if it's an FSP or something like that, okay? But in this case, go ahead and install your gas tube in the receiver. Another, another thought, when you guys are lining up your gas tube, sometimes I've seen um, gas tube roll pins have a hard time finding finding the other side. Sometimes it's because the gas tube isn't twisted and perfectly straight. So as soon as that pin goes in, it's, tr it's following the travel of the hole that's turned and crooked and going down. So we don't want to do that, okay? So we're going to start straight. Best way to do that is to eyeball through this hole and make sure we're all lined up. How are you looking, Sarah? I, I think I'm good. Another trick, if you've got a small enough pin, you can go ahead and stick it in there and make sure we're all lined up, okay? Next thing you're going to do is going to install your gas tube roll pin. Uh, very similar to the roll pin that goes through the low pro. The only difference is this is a split pin, okay? Not a coil pin. The only reason I bring that up, just uh, in terms of leaking gas or how gas functions in a, in a, in a built upper, if you can put that, that split pin, the split facing up, it's less likely to leak gas through that hole because carbon gas, all that stuff, is it leaks like water. Try to find the outside of a cave or rocks or anything, it's gonna go there. So if you can contain it, go ahead. All right, go ahead and line that up. Take your trusty hammer. Mm -hmm. Which side? Hard side. Okay. Mm -hmm. How far did we go? You did it. All right, now once you've gone all the way you can with the guide, now you're gonna do the rest of it with a flat punch, okay? Same scenario, take your flat punch and take your up and down. Now with a flat punch, you want to be careful the size of it. I'll proceed. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. You want to be careful with how far down you go in terms of holding it in relation to the pin because you don't want to mar your low, pro your low profile gas block. So maybe stop just before it's all, all the way in. Okay. Go ahead. She's got it pretty close to all the way, but now, like I said, with that flat punch, you might mar your little crook. So you're gonna to want to take your actual punch, it's about the same size of your, your uh, split pin, and go ahead and flatten it out the rest of the way. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, put the tools down. And that's about it. Never done it before. She just installed a little profile gas block and a gas tube. And I am pretty impressed. Yay! Very good. So, if you guys have any questions about that, let us know, please. Thanks so much, Clint, for showing me how to do that. You're welcome. I'm super excited. I feel super accomplished. You did a great job. I did? Mm -hmm. You're not just saying that? I'm not. No. It's on camera. <laughs> Everybody saw you do a good job. Yay. And I got to stand on a box. It was really exciting. It was way easier than I thought it would be. Right? Yeah. Yes. Now, granted, I do know, you know, you never know when uh, 
what other parts you're going to get from other companies, you know, and not say they're bad, but tolerance stacking, tolerance stacking is a thing. So sometimes it doesn't always go your way. That's why we're trying to give you those tips. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much, Clint. You're welcome. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I know you were cheering for me on the other side. Uh, yeah, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that little bell icon so that you get notified every time we do a new video. We have new Q&A videos every Thursday. What, what? Yeah, it's true. And uh, if you want to see this guy answer one of your questions, make sure to comment below. We sure can't wait to see what you send us. Is that supposed to stay? Alright, move. I'm gonna hook you up. I mean, it's fine. Should we just do it with all of it? I think it's fine. Mess it I'm up sure, a little perfectly. I'm sure you don't look foolish. Whatever. Okay. Gotta angle it down and just tap that right there. Okay. Don't do it yet. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Don't do it yet. Do wait till I tell them what you're gonna do. Is that what you were saying? No, oh. I did not. Alright, ready? Yeah. You sure? Why do you always ask me that? Because we're gonna proceed here. What do you mean? Yes, I am ready. But sometimes you're not. When, you, when am I ever not ready and I say that I'm ready? I stand corrected. It never happens. All right, ready? Yes. Yes, I'm ready. <laughs>